strongest survive, you know, the weak will weed themselves out by <laughs> <laughs> falling in holes. <laughs> All righty, so it is Saturday afternoon. We are in Old Blue, and by we, I mean me and Lily. She's doing a little bit of summer reading and God knows what else. Anyway, we are headed for Schaefer Trail. We got a call from dispatch about a Jeep that pulled over to let somebody by and fell in the ditch. Judging by the pictures, it's looking a little spicy. Slid off the road? Yeah, they pulled over to let somebody go by and they slid into the bar ditch, into the ditch next to it. You gonna be filming for me today? Mm, maybe. Yeah, just a little bit? right down there you can't see them but once we get up around here and start down the switchbacks I'm sure we'll see them we're gonna come up this way we're gonna get above them we're gonna use both rear winches we're gonna use the uh, lower winch to stabilize the frame pull it down low against the wall then we'll use the pole to lift the front end up and twist it onto the road. How are we doing? A little bit better. Right, understandable. Well, there it is. Give me one second. Yeah, that rolled down pretty bad. We're gonna try and keep it from rolling. did do a little winching and twisting to get it back up on the road straight. There wasn't a lot of room there, like the road's not very wide, and so we didn't have a whole lot of room to really get sideways and pick it like I really wanted to, but it worked. We got up there, we had the one winch for a stabilizing line, one winch to kind of pick and slide the front end up. I think it worked pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Here, do you need me to stop bouncing around so you can get your seatbelt on? There you go. Good job. Good job. So then we are headed back up Schaefer now. When you encounter people on these trails, on these roads and stuff, you do have to move over. You got to both fit on a narrow road. And if you're not comfortable with that, you need to know that and maybe not put yourself in a bad position. A position that you get you or somebody else hurt. Something to think about. Look what we're working on today. 
We are going to pull a motor out of it so we can put it in the scrap bin so we don't have to worry about it later. We are trying to clean up because we got to move out of this shop. You ruined my shot. You're doing the Lord's work here. <laughs> That's the plan. It looks like we can oh, just pull these. There you are. I was like, where did Mike go? Right there here. Is. Right there. Looks like if we pull all these bolts down here, we can just lift it straight up and out. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Our safety concerns. Safe. Yes. Come on. Come on. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Things happen. No more motor. No more bits, no more pieces, no more no bumper. More gas tank, no more bumper, no more wiring. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I didn't record a lot of it. Yeah. Sorry guys. Well, well we did, look, we took it out. See, right there. It's yeah. all right there. It's all right there. Motor's in the garbage over there. Where it belongs, because it's a board. It belongs. God, those V10s are so useless. <laughs> anyway, so see, look, we did something with it. Yeah. So now you and Robbie can stop yelling. <laughs> Robbie doesn't yell at me. Robbie knows exactly what's going on with it. Mm. Anyway, we got to move the shop again. So we're trying to lighten up what we're moving. So I figured we'd rip all the stuff off that frame because we know we're not going to need it. We don't want it. And yeah, so there we are. All right. So we're headed for Hell's Revenge. We're headed up to a cool spot called Darwin's Dip. It's pretty commonplace, so there's a little hidden feature. As you're driving up, you can't tell that there's a hole there, unless you know there's a hole there. That's where we're headed. We're gonna go get that out of there. We'll check it out. Uh, hopefully, we get it back on its wheels, and it'll be nice enough to start and not be an issue. But we know how that goes with JL, so we may have to pull it all the way out. We're hoping it'll go easy and quick. Here we go. down this and you're like oh I want to climb that obstacle but if you turn too soon you go in this hole right here 
That's the whole Rory was talking about. The locals like to call it Darwin's dip. Darwin's dip. Yeah. The strongest survive, you know, the weak will weed themselves out by <laughs> <laughs> falling in holes. <laughs> Woo! What's up, John? What's up, Donnie? How you doing? How's it going? Better than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't have too much fun out there. Oh boy. Alright, so we're hooking up right here around the frame. In this instance, we don't need to go all the way over and pull on the roof and pull on the doors and trash anything else because nothing's really damaged. This is not an old vehicle with rust issues. This is a brand new rig. So we're not going to pull the frame and the cab's going to stay like ridiculousness of things <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> Taste it. it. Smells like 80 90. 80 90. Yeah, I'm guessing just front diff. Right? I'm going to attempt it. I'm gonna put this right there. Anything? No smoke? Like it's. Oh, there it goes now. All right, so the biggest thing with these is when they start smoking like that, you don't want to shut them off because that's when they'll partially hydro, hydro lock. If it's running, it's at least burning it off. If it was fully hydro locked, like if there was a lot, then it'd, it'd be making some noise or it wouldn't crank over. So I think we're all right. We're gonna let it run for a little bit. We'll strap the top down. We'll get everything attached. We'll gather up all the bits and pieces. Oh, we got, I got Sean I got, got most the bits of them and pieces. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll get them in here. We'll get it strapped down. I call this a win. It's really not dinged up too bad. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're pretty smart. You're a smart guy. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> then we'll go around the tire. Oh, yeah. See? All his smartness is coming back again. <laughs> so much plastic. Right here. Headrest. You think? Yeah. I seen that one time. A guy rolled his, uh, I can't remember what it was, but they tied it around the headrest and pulled it over. It was a convertible, so there was like nothing to tie to up here. So they like just wrapped it around the headrest and like yanked on it, knowing it's not gonna hold. But hell, they swapped the car back over. I'm gonna grab a camera. If you want to just follow me out, I'll drive it so if there's any issues or it eats itself, it's on me. <laughs> so it's kind of slightly acting up. Just burning off the rest of the oil out of the, out of the intake. But you want to keep it idled pretty low just in case it was to hydro lock, it'd be at low speeds. But if it's going to happen, I'd rather it happen to me just because I don't want that on Sean. We'll just baby it up out of here. It'll burn out as we go. So I was ripping along through the sand here. I just happened to notice this sitting over here. Uh, right out here, no one over. Dump it out here? Full of beer. Really? Full of beer, full Party. of sand. Party boat. Pretty crappy. Cooler full of beer, water, and whatever, and just stashed over in the weeds and forgot about. Anyway, we'll keep getting this Jeep out of here. Top staying on, see that? The, the, the headrest is holding the ratchet strap, holding the top on, so everything's doing great with that.
Well, there we are. Sean over there. I'm over here. This feels weird. Show, show them the AC. See if they can feel it. So can you feel that AC? Yeah. Let's do it and crank it up. It's nice in here. It's nice and light. All right. Anyway, we're gonna take this back to the tour or to the rental company. Thanks, Sean, for coming in. Clean up the trail today. Yeah, clean it up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah, girl. Clean the window, huh? Oh, so you yeah. clean the window with a bottle. Why don't you throw this one? That one. This is drinky water. <laughs> oh, this is drinky water. This is windshield water. Don't don't confuse them. That's the insurance. Might call it totaled. Yeah, well, I'm selling. <laughs> yeah. Call them up. Be like, hey. Hey, what's up? Suck me, sir. You watch your you mouth. Got a blurry there for a minute, buddy. <laughs> This is a big man and a little deep. <laughs> <laughs>